Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking, lacking. Let's talk about what's going on with Tasha K and, you know, Cardi B. It seems like today Tasha K was in her, you know, in her fifi. And she was like, hey, baby, you going to sue me, Cardi B? Well, then I'm going to sue you back. I'm going to counter sue you for the lawsuit that you're suing me for. You're suing me for defamation of character. And I'm going to sue you for emotional distress, severe emotional distress. So basically, you know, Tasha Kaden stepped out here and said, if you're going to sue me, I'm going to sue you. It ain't going to be that easy. I just ain't going to lay down and let you sue me, basically. And I got freedom of speech. I can say what I want to say, when I want to say, and how I want to say it. Therefore, let's go to court. Let's do this. So here it is. Is, let's get it pop and let's get it cracking. So Tasha K has filed a $1 million lawsuit against, you know, Cardi B. Basically, she's countersuing and she says she's suffering from pain and suffering. And it is what it is. So she got to do what she got to do. So in order for Tasha K to prove, you know, pain and suffering, she has to show emotional distress and her distress. What distress does she have? You know, um, to deserve compensation. Basically, you know, the person has to be neglectful. The person has to intentionally inflict of emotional distress. And basically, sometimes it requires for you to have some sort of physical injury as well. And when they say physical injury as well, that means like she has headaches, nightmares, you know, fearful to go outside. Maybe she trembles. Um, maybe it causes all types of pain thinking about the fear of whatever, you know, Tasha K is saying that, you know, Cardi B did to her when, you know, Tasha K is actually saying that Cardi B out here saying, you know, Tasha K's name and lying on her saying that, you know, she makes up stories. She's a liar. She's somebody's auntie, you know, you know anything that she say is not factual. And then, you know, Tasha K is also saying that she received threats from gang members and things like that. And we know, um, Barty B, Cardi B is connected to a gang. So basically the emotional distress and the physical injury too as well. And that's, she can have night sweats, you know, she can have shakes. Um, she can lose, you know, train of thought, dropping things and different things like that. Basically with the physical distress or maybe, you know, she could scream, she can yell, you know, she can make noises, all types of stuff. Like it's anything It's up to whatever the doctor puts on the paper. She can say, I'm suffering. I'm stressed out because I've been getting threats. I'm scared to go on Instagram. I'm scared to go on YouTube. And when I do, I'm nervous. You know, I have a panic attack. I have an anxiety attack, which caused my back to hurt, which caused my neck to hurt, which cr caused me to cry. You know, anything like when you go to court, you got to put everything on the table. Anything that you think could possibly help you in a case, you put it out there and your lawyer is supposed to make sure it gets out there. And the other party has to then say, oh, no, it's not true or whatever. So basically duration, a duration of time, a time and period where she had this post-matic trauma situation and the stress. Like she has to prove how long she had this distressful intent. That's what Tasha K has to prove. How long she's been sad, how long she's been depressed, you know, how long her back's been hurting, how long she's been in fear of going to bed at night. She's in fear to get in the car. She's looking over her shoulder. She almost got into an accident because she feels like some car is following her. So she's scared. And it's because she's scared of Cardi B send, sending the gang members after her because Cardi B and Offset lives right down the street and around the corner and she's in fear and it could cause her to stay in the house not leave the house peep out the window you know whatever she can prove but she has to prove a duration of the time that she suffered this post-matic stress situation and how it severely um disturbed her so we'll see how that goes and then it relates to bodily harm like maybe she throws up every time she gets on instagram maybe she throws up before she gets on youtube maybe she throw up after she have convulsions she shakes you know or she has to take medication and that's where a doctor note comes in and that's where you have the body related harm due to the severe emotional stress you know what i'm saying so we'll see how that shit works out but it's crazy so that's what you know um tasha k is actually filed in her lawsuit so we're gonna see how that works it's hard to prove severe emotional distress it, it's kind of hard to prove it, but if you go to a doctor's, you have witnesses, you have statements, people can say that your behavior has changed, you know, you're very fearful, you're frightful, you know, maybe you carry a bat with you now, or maybe you always have to go out with somebody. So just to show that 
physically and emotionally you have changed due to this situation um, with Cardi B. So that's what Tasha K is going to have to prove. And she's going to need a doctor's note, a psychologist, basically a therapist, somebody to write on paper. You know, I started seeing Tasha K at this time, and this is the pain and suffering. She's been suffering from the situation. This is what we talked about. This is the symptoms. And these are her psychological um, issues that which now is causing pain related injury too as well so and you have to prove this in court so you have to be up on it like you really got to be up on it so we'll see how that situation plays out but it's something serious when you invite somebody to your platform or your blog site your website and they actually give an interview and they talk about somebody and then in turn you can actually be counter to so this is important for blogs this is important for people that do interviews that is not on a major network or on a major blog site because then you can be open to litigation you can be open to a lawsuit so you have to be careful what people say on your website or your platform if cardi b actually wins this case and this is actually can change the way that we put out information where it could be demonetized or not monetized at all or you can lose your channel so it's very important to pay attention to this because cardi b did request for tasha k to bring down the video that tasha k did with star marie on um her channel so we're going to see how it plays out because um cardi b is actually suing tasha k and star marie and then that kind of moves away freedom of speech too as well and but i'm going to be honest with you i wouldn't want anybody to say that i have constant constant yeast infections or i have you know outbreaks of herpes i wouldn't want anybody to say that so now how do cardi b prove that you know she has suffered and defamation of character so she has to prove that you know star marie was actually lying to to um tasha k so now we have to see how that shit works out how is she going to prove that so is cardi b actually going to you know I, you don't have to go to a doctor's for a yeast infection so they would have to subpoena her medical records or she would have to put her medical records out there and say i've never had yeast infections and things like that and i and i never had yeast infections where i had to go see a doctor about because it'd be in her medical report too as well and how are they going to prove that she goes and she buy monostat seven all the time yes we have seen a video of cardi b in her car you know and an uber basically airing out her vajayj or whatever and sitting on a car sitting on the back seat with no you know with her her vajayj kind of exposed to this seat in a public car in an uber but how are you going to prove that she actually suffers from yeast infections and she actually has herpes and things like that so they would have to do a blood test and then is cardi b willing to put her medical records out there in this courtroom you know what i'm saying is she ready to do that is that something that she's willing to do um the case may i don't know if she's willing to do that too as well unless she really you know she doesn't have herpes and she doesn't suffer from you know yeast infections but i don't know how you prove if someone's suffering from yeast infections or not what they're gonna do subpoena her bank statements her records to see if she goes to the store to the local cvs the local walmart and get you know some some creams and stuff so we'll see how that shit works out it seems like it's really crazy but you know um Cardi B is suing. She ain't playing around. She's suing. And basically, she wants the video to be taken down. And um, so she's going to have to prove defamation of character. And to prove defamation of character, um, there has to be false statements that was concerning the plaintiff. False sa statements like what Star Marie said was false. And then on top of that, the second part, the defendant may made a unprivileged publication on a third party. And so basically, I'm privileged, like this information shouldn't have been out this, you don't have the right to say this, um, you don't have the privilege to say this type of stuff, because it is, you know, personal information, but if it's an experience that you experience with that person, you can't say that you, that, oh, I seen this person with yeast infection, monostat cream, and all that other stuff, so we'll see, and the third party would be, you know, Tasha, it, the party, one of the parties is, you know, Star Marie actually going to, um, Tasha K and actually doing an interview and then it being published on YouTube. So then you got the third party, um, which is YouTube. You got Tasha K. Um, and then you have, you know, Star Marie actually going to Tasha K. So that's three people involved. So there is a third party. And so basically they have to prove that, you, you know, Cardi B has to prove that the information that they said that was lie, it, it was, it was slander. It wasn't true. It was defamation of character. It was, you know, 
And then also part three is the um they have to um she has to prove Cardi B has to pr prove that the publisher acted at least negligent and publishing the communication. So publishing the communication basically saying that she was ne she was um she was neglecting the truth. It was negligence because actuality that the story wasn't true. It was false and this girl was lying. So therefore, you know, I think out of the two, um, Cardi B has two. She has two. She, if she can, she has one really. If she can prove that she doesn't have herpes or suffer from, you know, yeast infections and all that other stuff, the baby is offset. But I think it has to do with the herpes and the monostat seven, you know, prove that that's not true, that she doesn't have any herpes. She doesn't have any disease. Um, pertaining to herpes, then, you know, all she has to do is show her medical records and then she's all set. So we have to wait for them to go to court for that to be proved. But the publisher acted at least negligent, was very negligent by publishing the information that Star Marie told, you know, um, Tasha K. So therefore, it seems like, you know, she could be she has she has a winning case there too. If she can prove one that the statement was inflammatory, and then also prove three that Tasha K had information, or she knew that this girl had mental issues, she was lying, that she wasn't telling the truth, and the communications, and she went and she published the communications anyway. That means she acted negligent, like she, you know, you know what I'm saying. And then on top of that, I think they can breathe lovely tea in with Lovely T's research and what she did and how she had conversations with Tasha K about Star Marie, Cardi B, how they're going to put out the information and how, you know, um, Lovely T wanted to debunk what Tasha K said. So therefore, um, you know, she probably has, the, there's, there's four elements, but she, right now, she has one because, you know, I don't know if she actually has one of this actually, if she can actually prove it in court that, you know, Tasha K acted negligent by interviewing and publishing, you know, Star Marie's interview when she was talking about, you know, Cardi B. So you have that situation. So we're going to see how it plays out and how it goes down. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I'm just like, whoa, baby. They are, it's, it's, it's really, it's really going, it's really going there. I mean, it's really, really going there. So, oh, so we'll see what we'll see what happens with this situation. But it's very important for people that create content to actually look into this and find out and see how, you know, if the case is going to be thrown out of court, the judge might throw out both of their cases, especially if Cardi B doesn't want to give give her medical records. And then, you know, the, the judge could very well say that Tasha K is not suffering from any emotional or severe distress or whatever. So we'll just see how this plays out because it's important because we interview people and people come on, you know, your channel all the time and want to tell you information. And then if you publish that information or you speak on that information and then, then if someone feels like what you're saying isn't true and they don't like what you're saying about them, they can actually sue you and the person and you are involved because, you know, you're publishing it. You know, you're the third party that's on a third party website, whether it's your website, Whatever, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram. So it is important to see how this rules because this will set precedent of how people interview and say things about other people, especially people that, you know, just have small platforms, big platforms, middle-sized middle, uh, middle -sized platforms. So it is important. So we're going to find out how this is going to go down. This is like, oh, MG. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Like, this is getting dirty, but I'm just saying, like, Tasha K did the right thing by filing a counter suit against Cardi B because then, you know, everybody's going to have to work much harder. The lawyers are going to have to work much harder. People are going to have to prove evidence and all types of stuff and get information, subpoena, you know, get records, all types of stuff. So it's not just going to be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's going to have to be both works. Both attorneys are going to have to work their ass off too as well to make sure that their client is covered. And then, you know, if they bring in the character of a person, like I don't know how if they do go to court and they can bring in the character, you know, they're going to bring up Cardi B talking about she, you know, drug men 
and she robbed them. She eluded them to think that they were going to have sex and then she robbed them. Then they're going to look at Tasha K's videos and say, oh, look at all the stuff that she's talking about. Look how she's talking about people. Where's the proof? And then we don't know if Tasha K actually has proof or not. She might have the proof, you know, sitting somewhere in the safe of what she needs to prove, especially if character is being brought into this lawsuit too as well. So this is going to be a tricky one, and this is going to be a real one. So they might just settle out of court, or they might just call it done. We're done. The parties, you know. But I think that, you know, Tasha K is not going to back down, and Cardi B is not going to back down too as well. So this is the battle, 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 battle. And it's a legal battle, and it's an important battle because it has to do with publications, third parties, and people actually free speech and saying what they need to say. Free speech is important, but when you start talking about people got diseases, you know, people are sick and ill, and you don't got proof to prove it, then therefore you are messing up that person's reputation. And then they're going to get pissed and they're going to want to come after you, especially if they got the time and they got the money. So we'll just see how this works out. And um, I don't know how Star Marie is going to fit into this case. I don't know if Star Marie has the money to actually battle herself or she might just she might just say like i'll be the witness for cardi b if i need to be <laughs> i'll be a witness for her because basically she's going to need to be taken care of and behold too as well because usually when you don't take care of somebody that's involved in the same type of situation that like you both being sued so therefore if tasha you got the money you got the attorney it's not your responsibility to take care of star marie but if she feels like her back is up against the wall and she doesn't have any money and she can't fight off cardi b's lawyer she might just very well you know try to be a witness for the cardi b team so therefore they can drop the suit against her um i don't know if the lawsuit that cardi b is actually filing is if it's a joint lawsuit a joint lawsuit between cardi b and star marie or it's individuals lawsuits between star marie and cardi b <coughs> so there you have it peace and my one love to all my peeps and my peoples Peace, we in the building, baby.